Giles and Almeida defeats Derek Lewis by a lopping one-sided decision. Pretty much just out-wrestled him and out-grappled him for five rounds and literally had him on the ground for 20 minutes of the fight. 20 minutes, which is crazy. That means like one minute of each round the fight was standing. Derek Lewis looked like he wasn't going to get up. I mean, there was even a point in the fight where Jelton Almeida stood up above. I've never seen this. Stood up above him out of full mount. And Derek Lewis is not moving. Lewis looked like he was a little sleepy. You know, felt pretty comfortable. Almeida holding him down a little bit. Punched him a couple times here and there. Early on, he did go for a lot of rear naked chokes. And it's crazy because I've never seen a fighter get held down in full mount and having their back taken for 20 minutes and never getting finished. This is Derek Lewis, mind you. Derek Lewis is a striker. He's not known for his grappling whatsoever. DC got him on the ground and submitted him with a quickness. Heck, even Sergey Spivak. Sergey Spivak got Lewis to the ground and submitted him in the first round. Jelton Almeida, who's supposed to be the premier grappler of the heavyweight division, could not submit this guy for 20 minutes? Is it for the fact that he is smaller? I don't necessarily think so. Now, should he have gone for the arm triangles? Arm triangles are harder to do against bigger opponents. So that, I think, size definitely had an impact on. But when it came to the rear naked chokes, he just wasn't softening up Derek Lewis at all. That would have solved a lot of his problems. Just land ground and pound, land big punches, big elbows. His neck is going to open up. And that's when you go in for the rear naked choke. But Jelton Almeida showed very little ground and pound. And when he did throw, most of them were not impactful. Most of them were 50% power. I think it was in the fourth round where he started to land bigger shots and it actually affected Lewis. Look what happens when he lands big ground and pound on Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis starts to panic a bit. The most impressive thing about the fight from Jelton Almeida's perspective was some of his wrestling technique. When Derek Lewis got up, which is something he should not have been able to do by the way, but it is the overpowered just get up technique. When Derek Lewis did get up though, Jelton Almeida had a very good wrestling ability to reshoot and return Derek Lewis to the mat. He did a good job of holding onto the single leg, driving Derek Lewis back to the ground, used various different kind of wrestling techniques that we don't see him too often use. So I will say 100% moving forward, Jelton Almeida is going to be a problem when it comes to his grappling, but only against guys who probably can't grapple that well. Derek Lewis is known to not be a good wrestler, known to be not a good grappler whatsoever. So those techniques he used on him are probably going to work better than anybody else he fights. Even Surreal Gone is a better wrestler and grappler than Derek Lewis. Almeida's shots are naked a lot of times, and so are his strikes. He relies a lot on his speed and agility to catch you off guard. But when you actually look at his takedowns and you actually look at his strikes, a lot of them are pretty open. Right now, imagine Tom Aspinall. Can he do something like this at Tom Aspinall? I can't imagine so. Can he do it against Sergei Pavlovich? I can't imagine he does. Or Stipe. Even an older age, Stipe. And what if Curtis Blades was in there? What if Curtis Blades never pulled out of this fight? And he stopped all the takedowns because he is a much better wrestler than Jelton Almeida. He keeps the fight standing with him. The fight could be very problematic for the smaller Jelton Almeida. It was a very strange heavyweight fight. And for most of it, it was completely inactive. And I don't know what Mark Goddard's doing. I don't know why he didn't stand the fight multiple times. He's given like a thousand warnings. Why did he not stand them up at all? I understand if you have full mount and you get the guys back, it could be a bit tricky to stand them up. But when you're seeing it over and over and over again, and for so much of that, Jelton Almeida is not even doing anything, I think you should stand it up. And then we got to talk about Derek Lewis. So credit to his ability to not get submitted for that long. And he tried to line up that uppercut. He tried to intercept Almeida's takedowns in like two times in the fight. He got so close. That uppercut was centimeters away from connecting clean. But the confusing thing about Derek Lewis was when he did defend some takedowns or he got up, why did he try to trip out Almeida? And even one time got up above Almeida instead of walking away to force the fight standing, he attacked Almeida on the ground and Almeida reversed him, showing he doesn't have the grappling technique in order to handle someone like Almeida especially. And then in the fifth round, when he defended that takedown keeping his balance, Instead of trying to get away, he tried to trip him out again. A bit of lack of fight IQ there on Derek Lewis's part, but there's not much he can really do in this kind of matchup. I mean, it was such a stylistic nightmare for Derek Lewis, and at least he went to a decision. Most people believe that he was going to get submitted very, very quickly, and he defended many rear naked chokes early on in the fight. He was on his back and has back taken for 20 minutes and never got finished. That in itself for Derek Lewis, I guess, is an achievement because that was not supposed to happen, right? If he got his back taken, the first time this fight should have been over. Now, what do you guys think? Does this expose a bit of Jelton Almeida's abilities? Is he as good as we thought he was? Or can he do this to everybody else? 